Well, last Friday, hundreds of thousands of computers around the world were hit by a cyber attack from a computer virus called appropriate. Of its kind in history. Computer security programmers were able to stop the attack. The man who stopped the WannaCry cyber attack. In 2018, a massive cyber attack caused chaos worldwide. It spread rapidly, shutting down hospitals, businesses and organizations, leaving people unable to access important files unless they paid a ransom. The situation seemed hopeless until a young 23 years old British discovered a way to stop the attack in its tracks. What made this story even more remarkable was that Marcus Hutchins wasn't a famous hacker or a top government agent. He was an ordinary security researcher who stumbled upon the solution by chance. His actions turned him into an overnight hero, showcasing how one person's quick thinking can prevent global disaster. Cybersecurity is all about protecting computers, networks, and important information from harmful attacks. These attacks are carried out by hackers who try to get into systems without permission. But not all hackers are the same. Some work to cause harm, while others help keep people safe. Hackers are often divided into two groups. Black hat hackers are those who break into systems for illegal reasons, like stealing money or sensitive data. On the other hand, white hat hackers, also known as ethical hackers, use their skills to defend against these attacks. They work to find weaknesses in systems so they can be fixed before criminals can exploit them. Marcus Hutchins, known by his online name Malware Tech, was one of the good hackers. From a young age, he had a deep love for computers and programming, always wanting to understand how they worked. His curiosity led him to spend hours learning, coding, and figuring out the hidden parts of technology. But like many who enter the world of hacking, his path wasn't simple. He made mistakes along the way, and his journey to becoming a hero had its ups and downs. Despite these challenges, his passion for cybersecurity never faded, and it eventually led him to play a key role in stopping a global cyber attack. By the time he was a teenager, he was well versed in computer networks and cybersecurity. Despite his natural talent with computers, Marcus Hutchins struggled in school. He found it hard to fit in with his classmates, and his true passion, technology, set him apart from others. Marcus spent hours online, where he connected with other programmers and hackers who shared his interests. During these online interactions, Marcus learned how to reverse engineer malware, a skill that involves taking harmful software apart to see how it works. This ability became his specialty and would later be key in his fight against the devastating WannaCry ransomware attack. His deep understanding of malware would transform him from an outsider into a cybersecurity hero. In his early years, Marcus Hutchins didn't always follow the right path. As a teenager, he became involved in some illegal online activities, experimenting with hacking in ways that weren't entirely legal. Like many young hackers, curiosity led him into the darker corners of the internet, where breaking into systems seemed more like a challenge than a crime. As Marcus grew older, he realized the impact of his actions. He decided to leave the illegal side of hacking behind and use his skills for good. He shifted his focus to helping the cybersecurity community, working to protect others from the very threats he once explored. This change in direction set him on a path to becoming a respected figure in the fight against cybercrime. Ransomware is a dangerous type of malware that locks up a person's or organization's files by encrypting them, making the data impossible to access. Once the files are locked, the attacker demands a ransom, usually in the form of money, in exchange for restoring access to the data. Victims are often left with a difficult choice, pay the ransom or lose their important information forever. Over the years, ransomware has grown into one of the most profitable forms of cybercrime. Hackers have made millions of dollars by attacking everyone from everyday people to large businesses and even hospitals. These attacks can cause chaos, shutting down vital systems and putting lives at risk, all while the criminals behind the scenes demand payment to unlock the files. By 2017, ransomware had become a common threat and organizations around the world were putting more money into protecting their systems. They were trying to build stronger defenses against these digital attacks that lock up files and demand money to unlock them. Despite these efforts, many still found themselves unprepared for the scale of attacks that were about to happen. The cybersecurity measures in place were not enough to stop the wave of ransomware that was coming. Businesses, governments and hospitals would soon face one of the biggest cyber threats ever seen. 
This lack of preparedness would lead to massive disruptions and highlight just how vulnerable even the most secure systems can be to well-crafted attacks. In May 2017, a new and highly dangerous ransomware called WannaCry began spreading rapidly across the world. What made WannaCry especially alarming was its ability to infect computers without the user doing anything. It took advantage of a weakness in Microsoft's Windows operating system, which allowed the ransomware to spread from one computer to another almost automatically. This vulnerability meant that once WannaCry entered a network, it could move quickly, locking files on multiple computers within minutes. The speed and scale of the attack caught many by surprise as businesses, hospitals, and even government systems were hit hard, with their data being held hostage by the ransomware. The world was facing a cyber threat like never before. The vulnerability that WannaCry exploited was called Eternal Blue. It was first discovered by the United States National Security Agency, NSA, which had created a tool to take advantage of it for their own purposes. This powerful tool fell into the wrong hands when a group known as the Shadow Brokers leaked it online, making it available to hackers and cyber criminals. Once Eternal Blue was out in the open, it became a weapon for cyber attacks like WannaCry. The ransomware used this tool to break into computers running Microsoft Windows, allowing it to spread incredibly fast. What started as a secret government tool soon became a global threat, causing chaos and highlighting the dangers of leaked cyber weapons. One of the worst hit areas during the WannaCry attack was healthcare. In the UK, tool. Where the National Health Service, NHS, was severely affected. Hospitals couldn't access important medical records, which forced them to cancel surgeries and appointments. Hospital trusts and GPs in Scotland and across England have had to cancel routine operations, send patients home and divert ambulances. Some patients were even turned away because doctors and staff couldn't access the systems they needed to provide care. With computers locked by the ransomware, Doctors and nurses were left helpless, unable to use vital equipment or access patient information. It seemed like there was no solution in sight, and the attack continued to spread, creating fear and chaos across the healthcare system. Marcus Hutchins, a 22-year-old security researcher, lived and worked from his small home in the coastal town of Ilfraku. He spent most of his days analysing computer systems and trying to stay ahead of cyber threats. When news of the WannaCry ransomware attack broke, Marcus, like many others in the cybersecurity world, became alarmed. The attack was spreading fast, locking people out of their computers and demanding money to regain access. And it was causing chaos worldwide. Marcus knew this was more than just another virus. It had the potential to harm millions of people and businesses globally. His goal was to analyze the code and figure out if there was any way to stop its spread. With his skills in cybersecurity, Hutchins began carefully studying the details of WannaCry, hoping to find a clue that would help him fight the dangerous virus. So the virus had made a web request, which was its mission, to an unregistered website. As he dug deeper into the code, something unusual caught his attention. There was a strange domain name hidden within the code, one that hadn't been registered yet. This small detail stood out, and Hutchins quickly realized it could be important. He decided to register the domain himself, not knowing at the time that this simple action would change everything. Marcus registered the domain name out of curiosity, not fully aware of what it would lead to. The domain he registered turned out to be a hidden kill switch embedded in the WannaCry malware. It was a domain name, which when you registered that domain name, it would kill the ransomware dead in its tracks. This kill switch was designed as a safety mechanism by the creators of the ransomware, though its purpose wasn't clear at the time. By activating the domain, Marcus had unknowingly stopped the malware from spreading to more computers. Without realizing the significance of his actions, Marcus had prevented a global disaster. The ransomware had been infecting computers rapidly, locking users out of their systems unless they paid a ransom. But when Marcus registered the domain, it triggered the kill switch, effectively halting the attack. His quick thinking and unexpected discovery saved countless people and businesses from further harm, 
marking a pivotal moment in cybersecurity history. The attack that had caused chaos across the world came to a sudden halt thanks to Marcus' quick thinking and technical expertise. Marcus Hutchins' discovery was a remarkable turning point in the fight against one of the most dangerous cyber attacks ever seen. When the WannaCry ransomware began spreading in May 2017, it quickly infected hundreds of thousands of computers across the globe, locking people and organizations out of their important data. This discovery stopped the virus from spreading further, saving countless computers from being infected. While his kill switch was a huge relief, it didn't reverse the damage that had already been done. Hundreds of thousands of computers were still locked, with crucial data held hostage. Many organizations had no choice but to pay the ransom in hopes of getting their files back, though there was no guarantee their data would be restored. The attack left a lasting impact, not just in terms of financial loss, but also by exposing how vulnerable the world was to such widespread cyber threats. The spread of the malware, which had the potential to cause widespread chaos, was successfully contained. This was thanks to the quick actions of Marcus Hutchins, a young cybersecurity researcher. His efforts came just in time, preventing the malicious software from continuing to infect thousands of computers around the world. If the malware had not been stopped, it could have resulted in massive damage, both financially and operationally, across various sectors, including health, transportation and business. Hutchins' swift intervention earned him widespread praise, not just from fellow cybersecurity professionals, but also from the media. He was celebrated as a hero, credited with single-handedly halting one of the most dangerous cyber attacks ever seen. His ability to find and trigger a kill switch in the malware stopped it from spreading further. This action highlighted the crucial role cybersecurity experts play in protecting digital infrastructure from serious threats. Despite his newfound fame, Marcus stayed humble. When asked about his achievements, he often downplayed his role, saying he was just doing his job and that his discovery was mostly a matter of luck. He never saw himself as a hero, even though many people around the world praised him for his actions. The address is to NTSC, the FBI, so that victims can be not, uh, notified. Um, I mean, having queries from like so. Instead, Marcus remained focused on the task at hand, working hard to keep people safe online and protecting their data from cyber criminals. Even after gaining global recognition, Marcus continued his work in cybersecurity. He knew that new threats were always emerging and his mission was to stay ahead of them. By studying the latest cyber attacks and developing strategies to prevent future incidents, Marcus made sure his knowledge and skills were always sharp. His dedication to safeguarding the internet never wavered, even when the spotlight was on him. Marcus Hutchins, once hailed as a hero for stopping the global WannaCry ransomware attack, soon found his life taking an unexpected twist. Just a few months after his remarkable actions, Marcus attended DEF Con, one of the biggest hacking conferences in the world, held in Las Vegas. There, in August 2017, things changed drastically. The FBI arrested him, shocking the cybersecurity community and raising questions about what could have gone wrong for someone who had just been celebrated. The British computer expert Marcus Hutchins, who helped shut down the WannaCry, WannaCry ransomware attack earlier this year, has been arrested for his alleged role in an unrelated malware attack. The arrest came as a surprise to many who had followed Marcus' story. He had become famous for his quick thinking and technical skills that saved countless computers from the WannaCry virus. But now, under different circumstances, Marcus faced serious accusations related to a past crime. The dramatic turn of events left many people wondering about the fine line between heroism and wrongdoing in the complex world of hacking. The charges against Marcus Hutchins were tied to events that happened long before he became known as a cybersecurity hero. The FBI accused him of creating and selling a type of malicious software called Kronos. This malware, known as a banking trojan, was designed to steal usernames and passwords from people logging into their online banking accounts, as they seemed to conflict with the image of the man who had stopped a global cyber attack. 
At the time of the arrest, the public learned that Marcus had allegedly been involved in these activities before he shifted his focus to protecting the online world. And many began to question how a person who once wrote malware could later become a defender of cybersecurity. The story of Marcus Hutchins now took on a complex tone, blending his past mistakes with his later efforts to make amends by preventing cybercrime. The news of Marcus Hutchins' arrest sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity world. Many of his peers and supporters stood by him, arguing that his heroic efforts in stopping the WannaCry ransomware should be enough to forgive any previous missteps. They believed Marcus had turned his life around and was now working for the greater good. The arrest and subsequent charges felt like a harsh blow to those who had come to see him as a symbol of hope in the fight against cybercrime. Despite the support, the US government pressed forward with the case. Marcus now found himself in a long and challenging legal battle, facing accusations that threatened to overshadow his recent accomplishments. The story took on a complex tone as people debated whether a person's past should dictate their future especially after doing something as significant as saving millions from a global cyber attack. Marcus' future was uncertain, and his supporters could only watch as the case unfolded. In 2019, when he pled guilty to two charges linked to the creation of the Kronos malware, his public apology was seen as a genuine reflection of his desire to move beyond his past and continue contributing positively to the cybersecurity community. The judge in Marcus' case considered several factors before making a final decision. His clear remorse and, most notably, his crucial role in stopping the devastating WannaCry ransomware attack all played a part in the ruling. Instead of a lengthy prison sentence, Marcus was given time served and placed under a period of supervised release. For many, this outcome seemed fair recognizing both the gravity of his earlier actions and the significant good he had done since. Marcus Hutchins' journey is a compelling tale of personal growth and the complex nature of morality in the world of hacking. Marcus had immense talent, but found himself drawn into a darker side of the cyber world. In May 2017, Marcus became a global hero when he discovered a way to stop the WannaCry ransomware attack, which had infected computers worldwide. His quick action saved countless organizations from devastating losses and earned him praise across the globe. After his heroic act, it came to light that Marcus had been involved in creating malware earlier in his life. He was arrested and charged, facing the consequences of his previous actions. Instead of running from his mistakes, Marcus took responsibility, showing maturity and a desire to right his wrongs. His story highlights how one's path in life can be filled with both missteps and triumphs, even in a world as complicated as hacking. Marcus Hutchins' story offers several key lessons that highlight the complexity of the digital world and the human journey within it. First, cybersecurity is intricate and multifaceted. Marcus himself transitioned from using his abilities in questionable ways to saving the world from a massive cyber attack. This demonstrates that in the world of hacking, the line between right and wrong isn't always black and white. Second, individual action has incredible power. Marcus, operating alone from his bedroom, managed to stop the global WannaCry ransomware attack. One person has the potential to influence and protect millions. WannaCry was not the last ransomware attack the world would witness. Since 2017, ransomware has grown more advanced and common. Hackers have found new ways to take advantage of weak points in computer systems, demanding payments in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, which are harder to track. The cybersecurity community has become stronger in recent years. Their work is crucial in fighting against cyber threats. Governments, businesses and individuals are realizing the importance of cybersecurity. The world has learned that cybersecurity is not just for experts, it's a responsibility for everyone. The story of WannaCry and Marcus Hutchins serves as a reminder of the constant battle between attackers and defenders in the digital world. As technology evolves, so too do the threats. But with skilled individuals like Marcus, there is hope that the good side will continue to prevail.